Welcome back to the Kiwi Creator. I'm David Gillard. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video. I've had a few computer issues. My um, laptop decided to crap out. It wouldn't handle the editing rendering. So I've upgraded that now. So we're sort of back in business. Uh, this week's project is on a salad mixing bowl made from ash and finished with a new wax that I'm coming out with. And I hollowed it out with my new, well it's not new, but my Rolly Munro Wonder Cut 10 tool. Um, so put it through its paces on a harder piece of timber. Yeah, so sit back, hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you can, and um, hit the like button, leave a comment if you'd like, and um, yeah, let's crack into it. So I'm just measuring up this wood blank to see what size bowl I'll be able to get out of it, and marking up the waste that will be cut off it. Now the blank goes on the bandsaw, we chop off the waste off either side and knock the corners off so we don't have to spend so much time making it round and trimming it up. Now we're just going to drill it with an 8mm drill bit so we can load a worm screw into it and fasten it to the lathe. Now to bring the tailstock up for extra support. Now we'll bring the lathe speed up from zero as fast as we can get it where we get a little vibration in the bed of the lathe and then we'll just bring it back to where that vibration goes away again. Now we're just going to do some rough turning, start trying it up. We're just concentrating on working on those corners, coming from behind and just working away, removing them slowly and carefully. Now we're just starting to shape the foot. Now starting to shape the outside of the bowl and blend it into the foot. So I stop here because I can't get around there with my tool rest, so I need to adjust it. But to find that original line 
I use the heel of the bevel to just roll up against it, not the cutting tip. And I can feel it, I can hear it and feel it at the same time. And then I can just slowly bring that tip forward, pick up that same cut and carry on cutting on the same line. Now using the wings on the David Ellsworth grind, I can do a sheer cut and just blend the last little bit of the curve into the outside of the bowl and blend any other bits that I need to as well. Now we're just going to true up the spigot, get it ready to go onto a chuck, a little bit of sanding, my favourite thing, you're right. Now swing it around and stick it into a new chuck. Move our tail stock out of the way. Now I have the Wondercut 10, which is made by Rolly Munro. This is great when you've got a really hard piece of wood have the advantage of having a carbide cutter in it. Just checking for shape inside, making sure you don't have any high spots or ridges. Now I just start working on removing the centre little bit.
measuring. Now we get out the one and a half inch shear scraper. Just clean up that little curve that comes around the bottom of the lids and bolts. Sanding here with 150 grit sandpaper just to try and blend anything that's slightly out. You know, we'll power sand at 180. And now 320. I'm using on this bowl is a new finish that I've been developing. It's a real hardy, water resistant finish. It still gives you that nice wax kind of look. Um, all natural. And that's hopefully going to be out in the next one to three months. Just getting ready to turn the foot off using a vacuum plate and a ch chuck adapter, live chuck adapter, and vacuum. Now just making sure that the foot has a little hollow so it sits nicely. Bit of sanding and using a point tool, creating a couple of nice little lines. We're writing our name, the timber. I always set out with a pencil first before doing my wood pyrography. I'm always worried that I'm going to end up running out of room or burning or something in the wrong spot. And as you know, you can't take it back.
like a big pen here was probably a little bit too hot. Should have probably tested it on a scrap piece of ash. Normally I have it quite hot when I do ash and um, lightly touch it. Um, I find it's every bit of timber is different. It's best just to grab a little off cut, do a test on it. Sometimes you need the heat right up hot and just really light touches. Sometimes you need it the opposite. Temperature right down and slower movements. But nothing a bit of sandpaper won't fix. zero synthetic steel wool. And just hand buffing, same finish on. Put it aside for a couple of hours, come back, hand buff it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a lot of fun playing around with the Roldy Munro Wondercut 10 tool. I'll have some photos of it at the end, also um, some photos of the ash bowl. And um, yeah, please pick some comments and let me know what you thought of it. Uh, please subscribe and um, for the next time, happy turning. <laughs>